Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And damn it, I forgot to put my phone on silent. This series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, this was a requested video through my WhatsApp. One of you lovely people WhatsApped me and asked me to talk about this topic. And I feel like this can go in so many different directions with so many ways because there's a lot to it and also everybody's circumstances are different. So it's going to be kind of generalised but this is just my take on addiction and um, like porn and masturbation and what was the other thing they asked me to talk about. I'm going to go by the things that they actually wanted me to discuss oh drugs and crime so like youth addictive behavior when it comes to these things and I feel like we all especially um in today's culture in today's world I feel like a lot of young people experience this in one way or another it may not be to the extreme of um like a drug addiction and things but we still get addicted to a lot of different things and if you understand how dopamine and serotonin and all of the chemicals in our brain work, a lot of things that we are doing in just our everyday lives trigger dopamine in our brains and so it can be something as simple as a relationship and codependency and you literally feed off of that relationship because it releases dopamine in your brain and it makes it addictive for you to not just be with that person but interact with them and the dynamic that is created and this happens in so many areas of our lives all the way to the extreme of drugs and everything in between so like it's a difficult thing to deal with and stop doing kind of thing like I also heard that sugar is more addictive than heroin so there are a lot of things in our daily lives that we are consuming constantly that we don't even realize we're addicted to and some of it is negative thinking some of it is like we're addicted to drama and toxic bullshit online you know there's a lot of things that we can become addicted to and I feel like it's been manufactured and created that way deliberately to keep everybody dumbed down to be honest like not just young people but everyone in their own lives with their own um specific things that they're into so it could be a specific type of tv show like reality tv or it could be alcohol or it could be drugs or it could be porn, like it can be any of these things. For so many people, no matter what gender or age or race or anything, it can be for everyone, like we all get into these different kind of coping mechanisms. And that's really what I feel like it is, is a coping mechanism, because for me personally, I think that it comes from like a lack of um, resources, depending on your age and where you are and things, a lack of resources, a lack of things to do, like boredom, a lack of inspiration, a lack of um, like goals and dreams and drive to achieve them, especially if you have a lack of resources, you're not going to feel like it's even possible for you to achieve them, so then you're not going to feel inspired and motivated to do anything, you know, like it's a bit of a vicious cycle and it all kind of comes back down to survival mode and the fact that so many people in so many countries are living in survival mode and they don't know how to get out of it and so we go towards all of these addictive things to kind of help us just get through life like it numbs it and helps us just float on by which is exactly what they want because they want us to be little zombies that they can manipulate and so they can carry out whatever agenda it is that they are choosing to do, you know, in order to have more control over the collective, in order to have money, in order to have the lifestyles that they have. Like, there's a million reasons why they do it, but it literally is to dumb us down so that we can do their bidding of whatever kind of agenda it is that they have for that week, you know. So, a lot of us have got caught up in these kind of cycles of wanting that dopamine release 
through whatever means necessary, you know? And I feel like there's nothing wrong with having that because, I mean, it's a chemical in our brain for a reason. Like, it exists for a reason and we're able to feel joy and love and all of these things. But there comes a point where you're doing it through low vibrational things and there's no balance and there's no self-awareness, you know? So that's when I think it's kind of a bad thing, if bad even really exists, however you want to perceive that, you know? So if it's something that you want to change, it's definitely possible, but like I said, sugar is literally as addictive as heroin, and I can't even imagine how difficult heroin or any kind of drug or any kind of thing is to stop it, you know? For me and my sweet tooth, that's difficult enough, so I can't even begin to imagine some of the awful situations that people are dealing with and how difficult it is to manoeuvre life with that. So I'm not here to say like this is what you need to do or anything but I just feel like it is possible to change your life but obviously it has to be something that each person wants and I do think the number one thing in even being able to do that is through education, like through becoming aware of what dopamine is and why we get addicted to certain things and how that happens and having that real self-awareness as well as doing your shadow work to go back into the traumas that even created your need and want to numb yourself and distract yourself. So again, as with everything that I've said in so many videos, it always comes back to shadow work and trauma and healing your emotions and healing your everything, you know? And that's a difficult process and also for most people it's a lifelong process because it's kind of what we're here for, you know, we're here to go through these experiences and these ups and downs and kind of try and pull ourselves out of it, you know, like if if you um, look at a lot of these quotes and stuff of people that are successful, they talk about how they started out homeless or they started out with addiction or they started out in some kind of horrific situation and then they had to use that as kind of like their strength and their drive to push them to get out of it. So everyone handles things differently and our circumstances are different and what I'm trying to say is that it's possible. You can do it but it takes a lot of self-awareness, a lot of healing, a lot of discipline, a lot of just knowing what you want and where you want to go and having the information and resources to be able to do that. But I really feel like it stems from a lack of inspiration for life. Like if you look at the suicide rates and things, they're just so high because people are really struggling and there's like sometimes when you reach that point of there's no hope, there's no faith, there's no future kind of thing, it can lead you down quite a dark path. So I completely understand why it happens and why it happens so much, especially now. But I really hope the fact that there's so much information out there now and so many um, like ideas and so many people that you can look to who are doing the thing that you really want to do. There's just so much that we can see and discover that hopefully it starts to help shift people's mindsets to be able to break that cycle, you know, especially because a lot of these are passed down through generations, like addiction and things can be passed down through generations and it's about the mentality of the person before, like the generation before, their mentality gets passed down and then it's about what the next generation then do with that mentality and do with that belief system. So they choose to change it and to shift it to what they want it to be, which is not easy obviously, but do they choose to do that or do they carry on in their footsteps, you know? So like we all have the choice. But once you start down that spiral and things become addictive, it's very, very difficult to break that cycle. So I know there's a lot of people struggling and I don't blame them to be honest because there's so much horrific stuff that goes on down here or here, wherever you wanna call Earth. There's just so much negative, awful stuff. But I'm also choosing to see and look for and connect with all of the people that are doing their shadow work and that are trying to change their lives and also their future generations' lives, you know? So I think there's a, a balance of both now. Like there's both that you can find, especially online. 
but we can't ignore the fact that the other one also exists and there's also people suffering you know so yeah I just think it's been created this way deliberately on purpose to make us all suffer just so that they can have their money and their lifestyle and the control to decide what laws happen and all of this kind of stuff and who gets the food and who doesn't you know like it's been created like that on purpose but more and more of us are waking up to this fact and being able to take control of that and grow our own food and you know like step out of that um rat race system and build lives that we actually want and I know that not everyone's going to be able to do that right now and not everyone's ready to snap out of this robotic sleep kind of thing that's a part of everyone's path like we all have individual paths and our own purposes of what we're supposed to be doing here but the more of us that break these cycles the better to be honest so I hope this video was helpful and just sheds light on where I personally feel like it stems from and there are so so many resources out there of ways that you can um, get help and speak to somebody that's been through it and so many interviews and documentaries and so many things where you can see people that have come out the other side so it really is just about choosing it unfortunately like every individual has to choose it for themselves and I know that's not an easy truth to hear and also not an easy thing to act on but it is the truth so but yeah thank you so much for listening and watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you can also comment down below if you want to touch on anything that i missed or continue on with this conversation and also you can comment below you can dm me or you can text and whatsapp me if you have any video ideas because i would love to hear them and yeah all links to my music my phone number my jewelry brand elemental mirror my merch Everything else about me is in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself.